Well, okay. the Flipcam talk is uh, going China with Eris Hu from Blue Focus. Blue Focus is um, China's largest PR company with about 5,000 employees and consultants. Eris, could you please describe in a few words um, what does strategic and uh, integrated communication and PR means for Chinese companies? What are typical challenges and chances for your clients? Um, the uh, overall communication and marketing industry has been changing vastly in China the past, uh, across the past years. And then um, more and more Chinese companies are paying attention to strategic uh, analysis and things uh, and also strategic uh, marketing, overall marketing planning in their business running. Um, however, today we do not have so much boundaries between like which are the means that uh, is the, with the mo most high or highest priority, marketing, com uh, communication, PR, um, celebrity, the uh, celebrity management or influencer management, whatever it takes, um, it's a lot. It's basically a lot of uh, mixes here going on here. So uh, we are trying to develop a very effective means to 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 achieve the best result with our consumers. So whatever it takes, it will be the. Uh, with the highest variety that we are going to take. We don't put boundaries amongst them. <laughs> and uh, what about the role of digital communications in China for consumers? Okay, digital is a <laughs> digital is the uh, game changer basically here. Uh, but ever since the digital tide has been rising, uh, we think that it ate up a lot of uh, a, a old territories that traditional media and also like traditional communication have been held. And today, every company, every agency is investing very heavily in the digital field because digital is the uh, uh, the way that we can actually measure the results, chase the every steps, and and do know what exactly how much uh, returns that would give us on each steps. So that is why it's being very important. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, one last question. Some people say uh, that we are entering into a new phase. Um, uh, what are Chinese companies mostly interested in learning about foreign markets and about uh, communications abroad? Um, uh, Chinese companies and even the communication or advertising industry overall is kind of in a, a early age. So we need to absorb a lot from our uh, abroad part partners or, or counterparts. So uh, basically we want to learn everything, how this industry uh, starts and how it developed and through a very young age to a very mature one, what are the changes that the consumers overseas have uh, been through and what m makes them to into today now, which will give us a lot of hints that about the uh, challenges or, or uh, possibilities that we're going to face today or in the future. So basically we will actually want to learn basically everything from uh, you guys. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.